Welcome to support videos for Control-M. In this video, we'll look at how to manage the microservices in Control-M Enterprise Manager 919. First of all, let's start in the Configuration Manager, the CCM. You'll notice that there's no option to recycle the Kafka and Zookeeper services. So if you ever need to or are asked by support to do this, how do you do it? Let's start by opening up a command prompt. Here we are. Notice the path here. We're in the EM home directory and services slash bin. This is the same for all enterprise manager installations. If we do a listing, we'll see we have some Python scripts here, starting with Apache underscore Kafka and underscore Zookeeper. We're going to be using these. We do need to use BMC Python, so we're going to prefix our command with BMC Python. First of all, let's go ahead and run one of these. So let's look at the health of Kafka. And here we see the output. We see the port number and we see the status. It's up and OK. So after that example, let's go ahead and look at how to actually stop this. These do manage themselves. So in this case, all we need to do is to stop the service. And both of these will automatically restart. So here we are. You notice instance deletion successful means it's stopped. And this will restart in a minute. Let's go ahead and clear the screen and get back to where we were. So do our listing again. And we're going to run some more scripts now. So we'll go ahead with Python and we'll look at Zookeeper this time. So let's look at the Zookeeper health and we can see it's up. Let's go ahead and stop Zookeeper. And enter the stop command, run it, and that's successful. These are the same commands, Unix's Windows. You will have to prefix Unix commands with EM, however, to load the environmental variables. So while we're doing this, let's go ahead and look at Kafka Health again, and we see that it's back up. So let's take a look at some more options. We'll clear the screen again. We do our listing so we can see what we have. And this time, we're going to look at the config of Kafka. So we'll use tab to complete the script. And now we can see the contents of the configuration file. If you're ever asked for this, that concludes this support video for Control-M. I hope you found this useful. You'll find more videos like this on our YouTube channel.